guys mrs g back again with some more maths reasoning practice this is a uh, second video with about questions about number understanding place value more than less than let's go number one complete the table so we've got the number in words and then we've got the number in digits so they've written 38 and then they've written the number in digits 38 so we've got the number in digits 40 we need to spell 40 Oh, now don't forget to proofread. I know that's how you spell four, and I know that's how you spell 14, but it doesn't look right to me. I'm gonna have another look. Okay, 40, there you go. Don't let that one catch you out. F-O-R-T-Y, well done. Then the next number, we need to use our reading skills, 94. And we just need to pop the digits in the box to get that one done. Number four, write the missing number in each box. 19 is one less than, one less than. So we don't know the number here. We do the opposite of one less, which is one more. 19 add one is 20, okay. Then it says 19 is 10 less than. Doesn't want you to do one, one again, because why would it ask you to do the same thing twice? 10 less. So to find out what this number is at the end in the box, we need to do the opposite of 10 less, which is 10 more. What's 10 more than 19? If we add another 10, one 10, add another 10. We wouldn't have 19 anymore, we'd have 29, wouldn't we? Well done. Number six, here are the first two rows of the 100 square. Here is another part of the 100 square. Write in the two missing numbers. Think about what you already know about how to use a 100 square. They don't let this trick you. It's not going in a straight line. We should know in year two that we count across in ones in 100 square and down in tens. Might help you to work out what these two numbers are here. So I'm going to just go ahead and put 77, 78, and I know. That if I jump down then in tens it would be 88 in that box then what would that number be because that would help me go up in tens so 78 77 that would be 76 jump up 10 that would be 66 you can't just write 76 77 78 because look how the numbers are placed on that hundred square Number 25, match the sums that have the same answer. One is done for you. So 20 add 8, 28 is the same as 10 add 18. Because 1 add 1, 10 is 2 tens and 0 add 8 is 8. So here we're looking for the tens to make the same number of tens. So 50 add 8, 8 pops a 0, 50 add 8 is 58. We need 58 on this side. So let's just start with the top. Three tens add two tens. Yes, three add two is five. So 58 and 30 add 28. That's the same. 88 is 88. We need eight in tens. Let's just try the next one down. Seven tens add one. Yes, that makes eight tens. That one matches. Fantastic. Then we've got 90 add eight is 98. We need to make 90 with the tens. We've got five tens. And four tens, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We managed it. Well done. Thinking about your tens numbers. Your tens numbers always comes first. Number nine. On these cards, the word should match the number. One of these cards is wrong. Draw a cross on the card that is wrong. So we've got 15 on that card in words and numbers. 49 on that card. 90. Oh, so let's check the other one and we'll go back and see if we've spotted the one that's wrong. And the last one says 51. So let's read them from the top. 15, 49, 90. Hmm. Is that the number 90, special agents? No, it's not. That is the number 19. When there's just one 10, we say teen. Okay. Did you spot that one before me? Well done if you did. Number 12. 33 to the nearest 10 is 30. This is a rounding question. Do you remember? 1, 2, 3 or 4, round down to the 10s you started from. 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, round up to the next 10s on the number line. So we've got 86 has 6 ones. So if we need to think about 86 and the nearest 10, is 86 nearest to 80 or 90? And I would say 86 is about there. 
Well, 86 has six ones. Five, six, seven, eight or nine go up to the next tens on the number line. 86 rounds up to 90. Well done if you knew that one. Number 14, we've got some 10 P's and some 1 P's. Tens and ones. What is the total value of these coins? First you count your tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then we count the ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got 57 pence. Well done. Number 7. Here are two cards. Add and subtract. Choose a card to make each calculation correct. One is done for you. You don't need to do any working out here. You just need to remember that add makes the answer bigger after the equal sign and subtraction makes the answer smaller. So here, 23 something one and we've got 22 after the equal sign. 22 is smaller than 23, so that only makes sense for that to be a subtraction. We've got 40 here something one and we've got 39 after the equal sign 39 is less so that must be a subtraction again then we've got 19 something one and 20 ah 20 is bigger than the number we started with so that one would be an add wouldn't it well done if you got those draw a cross on three numbers that are not even so if a number's not even it is an odd number one three five seven nine odd numbers make me feel fine and it's the ones that tell you so 15 has five ones not in the two times table that is an odd number can you see the next odd number try the top row first there we go one three five seven is an odd number because seven is not even not in the two times table let's check the bottom row now there it is, 9. 9 is an odd number, so it is not even. Draw a ring around the largest number. So we've got hundreds, tens and ones here. So we've got 201, 211, 102, 120 and 210. Which is the largest number? There it is, 211, because it's got two hundreds and it's got the most tens and ones. Okay, well done if you spotted that. Leave me a like if you're tuning in next time.